Hello, this is Torior and welcome back to Let's Play EU4S Riga. We're currently at war with Hungary and Austria, but we are... well, we do have the upper hand. I would really, really like um, for Poland... well, for Austria to have their relations with Poland annulled. Oh, Poland is neutral now. When did that, when did that happen? I still want my provinces. So if I declared war on them, Austria could not join them, but uh, my guys would not join me either. Because they're fighting in another war. But maybe right after the war, maybe right after this war is over, Austria will have enough war exhaustion to prevent it from joining the war with Poland, and then we can attack. Because we will be strong enough. Also, I have decided to take humanist ideas. Why? Well, because they are my favorite. And we do need an admin tech. Uh, group. I would like admin uh, admin ideas, but um, well, they are sort of redundant. The only good thing is core creation cost, and then um, and then administrative technology cost reduction. And I don't think it's worth it. The core core creation cost reduction is good, but um, we don't plan to expand like crazy in the near future. So humanist is actually better. We will have less land, but it will be better. So did the religious unity increase um, change my change my unrest? I don't think so. No, it didn't. Still, um, I will survive this if we can get to the next idea group that will reduce my unrest so we don't have to increase autonomy. Let's unpause. Watch this closely. If it goes to 90, I will have to unfortunately spend some military power again. I will fabricate some more claims in the meantime because I do have a free diplomat, so uh, Kovno. I should have fabricated another capital, because I do need that as well. Still, doesn't really matter. So, let's be vigilant, and if this war, when this war is about to end... Any more um, sieges? Any more forts? Yes. There's one. When this war is about to end, we will... Um, when this war ends, immediately, we will try to declare war on Poland, because then maybe Austria will not want to join. And we would have to fight what Poland as Saxony. Saxony is... Well, it is a force to be reckoned with, but not a very, very good one. Let's see. No, it doesn't show the reasons, even though they're just at war with us. They would join if they were not war exhausted and in another war. I could send them some money. Uh, same here. Actually, I'll send some money to Bohemia. Let's be a good friend. Mm, because I'm super rich. Yeah, I have 300 ducats. That will make sure that we can win this war mm, quicker and also that when it's done, they will not be in debt. Fighting Saxony could be a problem. They're not not—they're not bad, actually. They're quite strong for such a small country. But Bohemia and Brandenburg should take care of them. Still, Poland and Lithuania are a formidable foe. They are much stronger than us, but with the many members of our alliance, we should be in a good situation. I wonder if we'll get anything from this war. Maybe some uh, money? <coughs> Let's kill this group. Oh, we lost our general. At least I can get a new one. He's better. He doesn't have siege value though. Which is slightly unfortunate. Okay, there's a peace deal. Bohemia will take those two provinces. That's not a lot, but it is something. We have gained 12 favors. Mm hmm. And that is it. War reparations also. Oh, and Transylvania. That means Hungary is much weaker now. So, if I were to attack... Oh, shit. That again? My game is getting unstable lately. Crashes and this. Well, it's the beginning of the episode, so... And Austria would still join. They are in debt, but it doesn't matter. Okay, no war against Poland then. Not in the near future. Let's get you guys home. Let's get you guys home, and I should also decrease army maintenance. The triangle trade in Portugal. Doesn't concern me. Now, um, when our truce with Sweden is over, which will be in uh, 
47, which is 8 years. I could attack them. I could also attack Lubeck in the meantime, if he so chose. Actually, Lubeck is a very good target for us, because this is um, the best trade province in the area. Oh, shit. I forgot to pay attention to the rebellion. Oh, well. How's the other one going? At 80. Yeah, it'll be fine. I'll just kill those rebels. It'll take us some time to get there, but um, we can certainly defeat them without any major issues. They'll probably manage to occupy another province before that happens. Okay, let me have a look at those rebels. Yeah, the revolt risk is going down, and when we... Oh, we can take the next idea. And since we can next take the next idea, national unrest has decreased. And the rebels should now disappear. Those would have disappeared as well, but unfortunately they already started fighting. So let's just retake our province. I could go into Norway and kill those rebels, so Norway would love us more. Let's first retake our province, then we can think about that. Yeah, we're taking attrition, which is unfortunate, but I have a lot of manpower. Banned pilgrimages. Lose prestige or lose devotion? Lose devotion. I don't give a crap about devotion. Do we have any nice missions? Mm, no. Policies? Prestige increase? Or yearly prestige idea cost decrease? No, not worth it. Yeah, let's kill him. We should gain some favors with Norway. I mean, not favors, but relations. Whatever, it's gonna be beneficial. Support for mercantilist politics. Good. Mercantilism increases our income significantly. We should soon take more... What's that? We should soon have a closer look at our trade. But I can't really do it in that interface. With that interface problems. Because we might actually be getting more... Income if we split those uh, ships between two things, or maybe started collecting in Lübeck again because we have more land there. So let's do some let's do some checking. First off, I will see how my ships fare. We are getting twenty one seventy one. Just wait until the month ticks. Well, we're getting twenty one, around twenty one. So now if I move a merchant from... Uh, which one is the le least important? Probably the one in Crimea. Maybe. Maybe the one in Kraków. Yeah, first of all, let's uh, move the merchant from Crimea to Lübeck. And see how that affects things. How that affects th affects things. Oh, actually, are gaining money. Good. So that was that was a bit of a good move. Right, you guys should go home. And also, why are you going through Sweden? That's weird. Also, decrease maintenance. Oh, I should split you in half so we don't take attrition. You will do the same, but uh, go through a different province. Okay. Now, I was supposed to be checking trade. It's actually less. It was 21 before. Okay, now let's check if Krakow or Crimea is the better province. For our, or rather, the better trade note for our merchant. Diplomatic insult against Brandenburg. I suppose it's probably an event. Should worry. So let's move the guy from Krakow here and see how the income changes. We'll know which of those provinces is more beneficial. Well, we lost this bonus, but we haven't gained this one yet, so we need to wait another month. No, Krakow was better. Okay. Let's get you back to Kra Krakow. This is the Inland Trade Node. Hmm. We'll get you... Oh! Having merchant present, mm, 
or steers toward an inland node will give you extra trade power. Or we're steering away from a node, so I wonder if we steer this way, it will give us more income. I, I will check that, I do want to check those things. Okay, it's 20.3 now. Let's wait another month, because there's, there's not, nothing better we could be doing right now, because I need to wait for aggressive expansion to dissipate. Okay, and if I switch this around... No, it's worse. It's worse, but let me let me mm, try that one more t mm, month. No, it's worse. Uh, we lost an advisor, and we cannot select anyone, because because yeah, the game doesn't like me, and it forgot its skins, and I can't click it. Shit. Oh, well, if we can't, we can't. Mm, we can't take technology as well. Oh well. And I do have the ability to get buildings. Oh, right, I should get buildings. I should get buildings. This is all our primary trade node, so... Yeah, we're out of money. Well, we will want them mm, all over here anyway. So this is the more beneficial way to do things. Let's just wait for the, month, the income to update. Yeah, And now let's see if we will be gaining more money if we move our ships to Lübeck. Can I, can I do the, oh shit, I can't, no. Oh bloody hell, I have to restart the computer again. Oh well, enough of the trade mumbo jumbo then. Mm. Income is decent, especially from trade. I suppose I should send that merchant back to where was he? To Crimea. I think that was actually giving us more money. But I will still want to check. Mm. I will still want to check if... If we'll get more cash if we collect in Lubeck and send our fleet to Lubeck. Okay, we're getting more money this way. Can build province improvements. Mm, no, we can't. Oh shit, Austria has rivaled me. Bloody hell. They have rivaled me. That is going to be a big problem. At least Poland doesn't have any more allies and the prestige is... not the best. Well, I expect we will have to conquer all of Scandinavia. What? France as well? Austria, Tuscany and Flanders. Oh shit. Why did you rival me? We're, we're a world away. Why does the game hate me? I only want some more land from Lithuania, then I can then I can call it a win. But to do that, we will need to challenge Poland. We will need to challenge Austria and Lithuania at the same time. Luca, our brothers and sisters in faith are calling us as a defender of the faith. I will have to decline, I'm sorry. Oh, Hungary is no longer a rival. Um, oh, they have rivaled Serbia. I thought it was Poland and I was hopeful for a little while. Okay, I will improve relations with you, just so you don't become an enemy again. I could get some buildings, but yeah, I can't. Oh no, I can. Yeah, we have the money now. Why can't I get something here? What's going on in this province? Oh, we don't have money, of course. It works. Mm, conquer Płock? No, I'm not going to do that. I cannot challenge Poland, unless they're fighting the Ottomans or something. Early reformers, we can increase Brandenburg's opinion of me. Brandenburg is a friend. Brandenburg is a friend. I could make them more of a friend. No, well, let's make them more of a friend. Also, I will send a guy to improve relations with them. They don't have a large army, but they are a trusted ally. We have been in an alliance forever. 
Oh, Denmark is now a one province minor. Would you accept vassalization? Almost. You almost would, if you trusted me. If we get more diplomatic reputation, or just become stronger, they would actually probably accept vassalization. Then we can do reconquest on Hamburg. Yeah, that would work. When I get a free diplomat, I'll probably improve my relations with them. So I could take the one from Brandenburg, because we are friendly. Very, very friendly. I'll improve their relations and see if that does anything. For vassalization. Mm, we need what? An alliance? And they must be at peace and we must have good relations. Well, I suppose we could do that. If you wait long enough. For the aggressive expansion to dissipate and all that. Sweating sickness. Lose stability, money or power. Money, please. We'll actually have to take... Do I want the next idea? I think I want all of them, but... Yeah, we have taken a loan. It will be paid off in a second. Mm, local unrest, heresy... Yeah, let them sample new religions. We don't give a crap. Okay, now I can repay my loans immediately. Oh, I can't? Oh, yeah. The interest. It was still worth it. It was still worth it. Conflict between cities and bishoprics. Bishop Prick. I will... Gain, uh, gain admin power, please. It's better. It is better. Right, not much else we could be doing now. I can't really do anything here. Um, can I see my force limit? Mm, naval force limit is 33 out of 38. If I can... No, I can't, can't use this. Um, 33 out of 38, which means I can build 5 ships. If I go here... Build ship. Let's pause this. 1, 2, 3. And we're out of money. Alright. Alright. So, and the next order of business is, I should probably start fabricating claims in Sweden, because this truce is not as long as I would think. It's just five more years. Oh, four more years. Now, let's start fabricating claims on everything we can fabricate claims on. Unfortunately, we'll have to get to Gotland. Have any allies? You do have some allies. Lundberg. And what is your navy like? Sweden. Sweden has 30 total ships and 24 galleys, so getting to Gotland will be very problematic. But since your capital is on the mainland, it will be enough for me to just take this area. Let me see the aggressive expansion. It has mostly dissipated. Mm, I would like to take the diplomatic advisor that would give me mm, better relations over time, but obviously I cannot select one. Buildings marketplace. You know, I still am not using Lubeck trade node, but if we get, for example, this province here with an amazing trade center, then we could start collecting here and actually turning a profit. I could also use another merchant. So theoretically, let me just check this. Oh, why has my income um, decreased? We have been chosen. The Emperor has seers something. Um, I don't know why. Something has happened. The Emperor has given us some honor. I don't know what sort of honor. Yeah. Oh, since we are, we are Austria's rival... Wait a minute. Local unrest in Livland or 10 devotion? Livland should be here. And the unrest is minus 15. Yeah, local unrest. No, because the autonomy is at the minimum already, so devotion for free. Okay, anything else? I could get a new rival, I don't really want to. I would like Hamburg to leave the coalition. I would really like Hamburg to leave the coalition. I should start improving relations. We don't have a free diplomat. Let's get one from Hungary. 
Okay, Hungary is no longer a valid rival, that is understandable, which means I have two free slots for rivals. Poland hasn't rivaled me, so I should not be rivaling them back. Muscovy has rivaled me, but I don't want to fight them again. Who are Muscovy's rivals? Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Nobody interesting. And if we rival Poland, we'll get a bonus relationship with Bohemia, but our relationship with Bohemia is awesome already. Hungary... Oh, Serbia has expanded quite significantly. I wonder if they would want to be an ally of mine. They would. That could, that could be useful. Not very strong, but... Well... I could work for an alliance with the Ottomans. Because if we have common rivals and improve our relations... You know what? I should probably rival Poland. Yes, I should rival Poland. Let's do that. It's time. That will give us a relationship bonus with the Ottomans. And I can maybe in the future form an alliance. I will start improving my relations. We'll get an enemy of enemy bonus soon. No, oh crap, it's France, not Poland. Yeah, um, let's select France as well. Let's select France as the other rival. You can always spend some points to cancel that. I don't really want to fight France, I just select them to gain favor with the Ottomans. Now, we have a common rival, so this will become slightly more likely. If they flip the friendly, then we can do that. Okay, it's time to end the episode, and I am sort of happy about it because of this bloody glitch. Mm, and in the next episode, I will probably get ready for a war with Sweden, because it's already time. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy the video, and be sure to click the like button if you did, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.